Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning, Lagos. Welcome back to Saturday Brunch with your which is truly Miracle OP. I'm your host with the most, and he's always going to brag about having the best French toast. And that is still a call out to all you celebrity cooks, all you private cooks, all you kitchen cooks, all you home cooks too. You can get the smoke. Come on the show. Let's have a conversation. Let's eat food. Mm. But I always got to give a shout out, a special shout out to the House Chronicles for giving me this amazing platform to talk my shit, to push my pee. Make sure you follow them on all social platforms, Twitter or X, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok. We have our email too. Send us an email, especially all them food vendors. Send us an email. We're still looking for sponsors for the show. Hit us up on email, on Instagram. DM us. Don't be scared. Make sure you also subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Ring that bell. Hit that notification button. On to our guest. For today, we have family. We have blood. We have slime. We may even have twin, like the kids say today. Twin. Nobody knows me stop. like you. This is why you stop. Nobody can know me quite like. It's my show. Yeah. Yeah, even family gets that treatment. It's my show. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, we have, I don't know where to introduce her by her stage name or by her real name. We have H.A. Red in the building. Miracle is Red. H.A. Red in the building. You know the vibes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have family in the building. And Hello. always on Saturday brunch with Miracle OP, we got the brunch. We got the best coffee yeah. food in the house. Best conversation food in the house, I believe. Best. Ice cream and cake. Whew. And you can tell from ours, our guest started before the show started. Ooh. It's all good. It's all good. And that's also a shout out to mm. all you food vendors out there. Come on the show, we give you a good platform, we have a conversation, we eat your food, and we give a review on the food too. I made this cake and the ice cream from scratch. Believe what you want to believe. I made this shit, bro. And it's nice. I'm loving it. Here we go, how have you been? I've been good. good? Very good. You made the cake and the ice cream. Oh yeah, cream. big time. I'm a baker. Okay. You don't need to know that. I have okay. a secret life that you don't know about. I'm your family. Doesn't matter. Okay. So family doesn't know everything. Right. Facts. You made Facts. it. You I'm made a baker. Yeah. I make ice cream on the side. It's delicious. Thank you. That's what you're going to say. Don't doubt my skills. Okay. I made the wine too. Right. I haven't been there. Okay. Big boy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy shit. Yeah, baby girl. Nah, but baby girl, you know I'm always worried about you. And I always say this. I need you to be stronger than me. I can be stronger than you. Bro, you have to, bro. I need you. I need you, bro. Uh, I need you. Everybody says I'm strong, so maybe I am. You are. I always tell you, you're one of the strongest people I know, bro. Honestly, Thank you. Bro. And you've always been the homie since day one. I just... I just have to ask you, though. How, how have you been since, you know, the internet? Not so good. Mm. But surviving. Still missing? I don't think I can ever stop missing him. Yeah. I'm missing him. I still remember like every Sunday, bro. Me and him just chilling. Just oh. see a vibing on conversation. We still haven't even shared that beer. We never even shared that beer. Yeah, together. he was always saying that to you. Never yeah. shared that beer together. I still remember that. And it's, it, 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 it was really like losing a best friend. Yeah, I remember when he always, uh, pre uh, when, you, when you were sick? The poisoning thing. To, to, it would to, always to call you every day. day. And my and my brother, I still hold a real be very close to me. I have one in my car. Mm. And it's just he he's somebody that will always be missed. Somebody that will always be missed. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. How, how's your day today been though since then, bro? My day every day has been quiet. Mm. I'm already an introvert. So I think it just grew worse after he passed. I became a chronic introvert what do you mean by chronic introvert like an introvert introvert like always in the house always 24 7 24 7 
you, you can't find me outside. Even if I came out, it would just be like four, five, ten minutes. Your and then back. Too, so. Yeah, I stopped. It was, I just couldn't. It was wasn't. Story, I remember when he died, I, I, I was posting a lot, like, because I felt like that would make me just forget. Mm-hmm. You know, until like it hit me. And then when he did, I just, I crashed. Like, for every time I tried to get up, it was just hard. And since then, it's been two years, and I still haven't been able to come back to me, you know. People are used to a certain me. I haven't been able to get back to that place. It's been hard. I don't know how to. People say you. I have to find a different way or a different route, but I still don't know how to. And my fans are suffering. Trust me. The ones that are still there are the ones that probably love me. I think I don't even know, but... The hardest thing for me has been shutting out contents. It's been hard. Well, that's great. I mean, like I said, mm. I, I, I can't compare my loss to your loss, but I lost somebody that day. And to today, I, I don't I remembered it. you that day. But I didn't, I didn't want to see him. Anymore. Yeah, you didn't. It's, it, you died. I didn't want to see him. Anymore. You died. I remembered you that day. I couldn't even see him. Like, I remember you running back to the doctor to be like, oh, you got to do something. Like, you can't just say, like, that day was... Fuck. I think something in me died. Just... I was looking at... And he was smiling. That was the... I couldn't even explain it. Like, he was dead, but he was smiling. Has it fucked up, like, your relationship? It fucked up everything. Nah. You know, before he died, people, uh, a friend of mine asked me once, what was my greatest fear in life? And I said, losing my dad. Mm. You know, I think a few months before that happened, someone asked me that question. And now it just feels like, well, anything can happen now. I don't really care. Like, there's nothing that can happen right now that will move me. Like, that was like the, that was the biggest, like, the most... <laughs> See, I feel like I'm I'm dead, Sif. I feel like I'm just hanging in there. No, but like, trust me, I cry every day. Like, I'm not even exaggerating it. I cry once a day. Like, I must cry once a day. Like, I don't know how people that lose their loved ones, I don't know how they survive it. But I haven't been able to survive. If I watch a movie that someone dies, I cry like it's my dad dying in that movie. If I watch a movie that some girl or some guy is disrespecting their dad, I just want to strangle them because I'm like, your dad is looking at you in, like he's there, he's looking at you. How are you disrespecting him? How are you not loving him? How are you not just enjoying that moment? Like, I know it's just a movie, but I just feel like strangling the person. I can't stand, if you're my friend and you're disrespecting your dad, I can slap you on the spot. Like, I don't even care who you are. I don't fucking care. That's like, he's there. I don't care. Like, when people say their dad doesn't mean shit to them, I'm like, I want to kill you. So, what if the dad was abusive? I don't care. The dad was abusive. I'm sorry. I, I'm no, sorry. Maybe it's my mindset. Like I said, the I'm, dad was abusive. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm sorry. Maybe it's just I feel like, I feel like me. I see your relationship with them. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. maybe that's why I, I can't be in the best position position to judge that. Mm. But, but I, I honestly don't care. I like I would slap you on the spot if I see you disrespecting your dad because I'm like, no matter what, he's there. Like no matter how abusive he, he is or how badly oh. behaved he is, you will miss him if he's gone. And that's facts. You will miss him if they call you today and tell you that your dad is dead. Even if he was the worst father, you would miss him. So I feel like I would literally end your life. If I, don't make me watch it. If I'm your friend, don't make me watch it. Don't make me see you disrespect your dad. I can't. I, I, there's no excuse for it. For me, personally, there's no excuse for it. Speaking of friends, how is like your... Since... Your dad died. Has your has your has your friend circle? I think I just have one surviving friend left, <laughs> because I haven't been the best of friends. Your friend, the friend I know. No. Not that friend. I lost that one already. Yeah. You, you know, I, you know, I don't get that. 
What? No, not that one. Are you joking? That's my last my the ride or die. No, you would have hit who? The one that, 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 we, that we talk about. Okay, yeah. Well, I, 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 I could have. No, no, no. I could have. That... I could have. Boy. 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 You wouldn't even have smelt it. We're flirts. You need to know who you're talking about. See? You need to know who you're talking about. We, we have first you class to, in you flirting. You need to know who but you wouldn't even smell it. You need to know who you're talking to. <laughs> I know my girl. I'm a different type of girl. I know my girl. I know my girl. You will not smell like it. She will flirt with you so bad, you would think. Like she will flirt with you so bad. Shit. Pay for what? Is she? What are you paying for? I wouldn't even go on a date. If she even, if, even if, if she even let you, you will feel miserable, because you feel used. Very just, used. You. you will feel, you will look and sound like a girl. I could've. Okay. I could've. Let's rest it then. I chose not to. <laughs> I chose not to. I boy. I had it in my hands. Boy. Boy. I chose not to. Boy. I want you to know that. Okay. I chose not to. Let me just let you. you. See, that's, that's the thing. Let me let your ego that's, that's, that's let, me, let me let me let it. it. Let me just let you us, have this one. Us, There's us no need to argue. High standard men. We, we don't need to... Like no words. I'm like not gonna. Water. I'm not. I'm not gonna have this argument. I'm not gonna have this argument. Smooth like whiskey, rough like a Cuban cigar. As flawless as a boy. Your child. We are in this, baby. Okay. <laughs> Michael Phelps in let that me pussy. let let me let you win this one because Michael Phelps in that pussy. Yeah. Okay. If you think so. Yeah, but speaking on that, how's your love life though? Dry, oh, very, oh very dry. That? You know, it's funny. People think that maybe because of how I am, my love life is just smooth. Very dry. You think your divorce fucked her? My divorce? No. Why? I don't know because it was very, very public. And you haven't even talked No, that happened. Before. My divorce happened way before. Or my separation, rather, happened way before it went public. Uh, by the books? No. So technically, you all are still married. Mm, technically. <laughs> technically, you I, don't, still I, I mean, woman? when you say you're divorced, it means you signed papers, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, I, I haven't signed. Okay, I believe the judge is like you're divorced. Yeah, you signed you're papers. Single, yeah. No I people. haven't. I don't even know what a divorce a divorce paper looks like. I haven't seen one before. So I don't think. I've... Are you still a married woman? But they say after three years of separation, you're, you're as good as divorce, right? I don't know. I do not know. Do you know the law? Producer, do you know the law of the state of Vegas? When it comes to... Please don't Google that. You're still a married woman? I did not sign any paper. That's Hold all I'm on. saying. That is all I'm saying. I didn't sign any paper. So if divorce is by signing papers, then I'm not divorced. So you're still married? Oh, you're separated. Which one? Uh, uh, separated. That should be the term, right? I'm so confused right now. Bro. Why? Why is I think this I need confusing? a lawyer on the show. We need like a house lawyer or something. <laughs> but not that serious now. It's been what? Five, six years? I mean, but that means that you can't marry another person unless you get a voice. Well, the other party is very the other part you? is very married right now, isn't he? So I, I, I oh, think I, I should marry if I want to. Not like I want to, but it's crazy, bro. Why? When you I, find I, happiness, you you take it. Bro, you I move just, with it. What like what what the fuck like? What from the outside? From mm -hmm. when I saw you guys, mm -hmm. from the outside looking in, you know, like you know, you know, as a young, I, when I was really, like, I was very fascinated by Nollywood scenes. So looking at him, you know, seeing him on TV. I was like, oh, you know, you're trying to grab some wisdom, you know, here and there from a veteran of the game. So from the outside looking in, I always thought it was nice, but I guess that's what people say. The outside is not always what is within. Yeah. So what the fuck happened? Bro? Nothing. It just didn't work out. It was a marriage built on the seat, so there was no way it was going to work out. What do you mean by built on the seat? 
English language, deceit. Like lies? This, uh, deceit is lies now, sir. It was never going to work out. It was never going to work out from day one. It was gonna, it was gonna fizzle out at some point. Did you know that before you got married? Mm. I, I feel, I feel like, I feel like, as human beings, sometimes because of love, we tend to ignore. No, red no, flags. you know that in in Nigeria, I wouldn't say in Africa because I've not been to other parts of Africa. In Nigeria, it's like, uh, for the Nigerian woman to find a man and get married to him is. It's golden. Mm. It's something that when you do it, everybody applauds you for it. Mm. So uh, the typical Nigerian woman would ignore the red flags because they solely want to get married, because they want, they like, they want to get married. They would see the red flags, know that this is not even what they can contain or what they can live with. But because they know that being married is some sort of, uh, should I say trophy? Or and um, or you're winning. I don't, I don't even know the word to it, use. It's, yeah, it's kind of like you, it's what's what's the word? It's a uh, it's something you must have to do. Yeah, as a, as a passage of a woman. Yeah, so a of a woman, you have to get they married. ignore all yeah. the red flags. In their heads, he would change. In their heads, I would change him. So you knew the red flags before you got married. Yeah, I saw them. It was there. It was clear. It was crystal. I remember calling. A week before my traditional marriage, and I'm like, "Cause me, I'm, I'm, I'm the black sheep, oh. So you know when they're like, I'm like, see, guy, I can take anything, or I can, I can do this thing with you, but I need you to assure me that we can do this. Like, I need you to assure me that I'm okay, I'm safe, you know. And he's like, Nah, gee, it's good, we can do this. And we ain't that now. And then you know when they've done or they've you know you know white you know white people when you want to get married two days to the wedding so you can decide ah I'm not going to do called off I'm done I'm done every time I'm done even when they're about to say I do you can say I'm the one Nigerian wedding when the father has brought this for mother has brought everybody's aware what are you saying you are not doing for I felt like right from the proposal I knew that we weren't ready I knew that it wasn't. I, I remember him kneeling down and me just staring at him. And see, I'm going to advise every Nigerian girl, every Nigerian man, if you want to propose to your wife, do it behind closed doors so you can get the real answer. Did it in public. Did it in public. And you know everybody's saying, say yes, say yes, say yes. And you don't want to embarrass Wait. him. Wait. How? Please. It's go just through, typical. Go, go Ni Nigerian go movie. No, no, go through. No, let's do Nigerian movie. You know how they say the guy goes on a one knee and then everybody's saying say yes, say yes, say yeah. yes. And then you, if you family, say if you yeah. say no, that was even the red flag for me. None of my family members were there. That I didn't like. Random ass people. It was just his people. That I didn't like from the when that happened. But there was nothing I could do about it. It already happened. And then and I remember only leaving his family, him. Not even your friends were there. His family was his friends, basically. Were your friends there? No. My friends, nobody was there. It was on my birthday. We did a party. Everybody had gone home. I'd gone back to my hotel because I, I stayed in the hotel. No, they were in my birthday, but okay. nobody knew. Like, you know, it was. I. It would just have been ideal for him to have told everybody. Oh, I'm proposing to this girl. Hang around, but I think he didn't tell them. Mm. So everybody went home. I didn't know I was getting proposed to. So everybody went home. I came back to my hotel. I was trying to change, and his uh, uh, friend then was trying to get me not to change. Oh, just calm down. Why are you changing now? And I'm like, I beg, I'm tired. Let me change now. Mm. Let me. I said, no, oh, just calm down. Uh, your boyfriend is in the, is in the what's it called, lounge. Mm. He's with his friends. Just go, let's just all drink before we. I said, me, I'm tired. Can't I just go down in Jalabia? And she's like, nah, just calm down. You're looking she nice now. Like, dress up. I was already dressed oh, you already up. Dressed yeah, up. Yeah, but yeah, I wanted to change because yeah. I was done with the party. Mm. So I just reluctantly go downstairs with her to the lounge and I open the thing and then some man is kneeling down and there are cameras in my face and he's mumbling some words I can't even, I never even heard because I'm shocked, like, what's going on? Like, I always imagined, you know how before you get married, you imagine, oh, the guy will go down on one knee. Fireworks. Like, 
and then you just horse. be there, you say yes. I'm looking at him yeah, like, this is real life, this is real life. dude, are you ready? For, are you sure you? And I'm looking, asking myself, telling myself, nah, you don't yeah, want this. Budget. Nah. No, I'm like, I knew deep down, and God sees my heart. Wait, wait. I if wasn't he was ready. in private, you would have said no. I'd have said no. I honestly promise you would have said no. So if he did it. Let's say I would have said no. The... Like, I would have said no, like, I can't marry you. My no would have been like, we're so not ready. you did it in the hotel room, you were like, no. I don't, we're not ready. Because we were not ready. So why don't you just tell him that after you said yes? Probably. Because I already said no. I already said yes. He was already very emotional. Oh, I'm so happy you said yes. Oh, I know your ring is not your size. I'll get you a better ring. Am I supposed to be saying, oh, my answer so, is supposed to have been no. So are you saying you stayed with him because of emotional blackmail? No, I loved him. That's not the, but I just knew that we were not ready for that stage. So it wasn't a no, like, I can't marry you. It was a no, like, we're not there yet. So Give it time. You, so why would you not marry somebody you love? No, we were not ready. The no is, I cannot, and it's not, it's not me, I'm not saying no, we cannot get married. Mm. Is we're not ready to be so there. So what if you told him, like, after you public, you were like, let's just, Engaged. Have you ever loved someone before? Yeah. So do you just tell people that you love after telling them that yes, you're willing to marry them? They tell them that, oh, I, I was just faking it because your friends were there. The truth is, I'm not really ready. No, I feel, I feel like I feel like especially for. Let me speak for myself. I, I didn't, the truth I didn't is, know, I didn't know the person. But when I when he said when he when after that, he was on, of the impression that okay, I'm proposing to you, but we'll take our time to plan. So that was, I was okay with that. Mm -hmm. But you know the night, you, you, you're, an evil, you're an evil guy. Mm -hmm. We're both share the same parents. Mm -hmm. You know, once you tell the evil parents that, oh, I found the girl, I found the guy that I want to marry, they rush oh, up so everything. you told your parents before he proposed? No, he told his parents, obviously. Not that, yours? No, he hasn't told my parents yet, though. No. So he your told parents his didn't know about the proposal? They knew that night. when I said my, my people didn't know. Nobody in your family knew? No, nobody knew. Well, that's fucked up. Yeah. Because for me, the first, the first, like, the no, first thing, yeah, the first that, thing I said you know, to him was, a flower, you know, everybody, <laughs> <in> that, <laughs> that was old, that was olden days. So he didn't do that? Everybody was at the party. My sister, my brothers, my friends. The ideal thing you'd have done was tell them that, oh, so I'm going to propose. So they were not there for the proposal? Because you, it's, just like, it's just like you coming for my birthday party. When you're done, why don't you go home? Except maybe someone, maybe my boyfriend comes to tell you that, oh, please stay back. So you didn't tell him. No, he didn't. I thought that was fucked up. Yeah, so for me, I, I, when I, I remember talking about it, and he was like, oh, he didn't know. It was the spot of the moment. He didn't think about it. And then he didn't want. He always had a ring in his pocket. <laughs> he was walking around with a ring in his pocket. Like, for the entire month, it just happened, just happened to happen. Yeah. A splash of love. That's crazy. Can you stop? No, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, who am I? I'm not, I'm not being compelled by love like that. <laughs> I'm not being compelled by love like that. Mm -hmm. But what was the breaking point? Like who, who? For what exactly? Who said, yeah, I'm done? He said it was done. But I said I was done like 100 times before he said he was done. But the difference is, or was, I didn't walk away. Does that make any sense? I was, I said I was done a hundred times before. Because the marriage was, what, four years? Mm. We're together for five years. Mm. Marriage was four years. So I said I was done about a hundred times before he said he was done. But the difference is, he walked away. I didn't. But every time I said I was done... I stayed. Why? Because the marriage, you don't just walk away from him. It's for not dating, we're married. So he quit? Yeah. Why did you keep saying you're done? What was because the marriage was built on deceit. Yeah, but you need to go deeper with that. I don't know. I think that's. All I can say, really, it was just built on the seats. It wasn't going to work. It wasn't going to work. It was never going to work. And I just entered with a, the with a thought that I could change him. I could change the situation. I could make it better. 
And that's what we young girls, that's the mentality we always have when we enter marriages, when we see the red flags. We feel like we've been with this person, we can make it better, we can make it work, we can manage. So that was the mentality I entered the marriage with. But instead of it working, it just deteriorated to the point where... What I'm, like when I say, I'm talking about what aspect, is it communication, is it sex life, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it like it's everything. physical connection? Everything. <laughs> Everything was just wrong. Like I said, it was if, if, built... okay. Okay, okay. If 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 it's let's rank them. Because mm. I said a lot of things. <laughs> let's just rank them. Why are you just finding for, my mouth? Just for fun, let's rank them. Because okay. I said a lot of things. That you said is everything. Mm. Let's rank from most important to least important. Mm. Um, just nod your head for one, two, or three. As in order. Okay. Uh, communication. What, what rank is that one? I just said I should nod my head, so I'm nodding my head for everything. The ones that it's not there, I'll not nod my head, Abby. The one that is not important, don't nod your head. So I'll rank okay. it below. Or the one that is not there. Let's do the one that is not there. I should not nod my head at all. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Communication. So y'all are not talking. We're not communicating. So you're only talking about shit. We're talking, but we're not 